everyone welcome to a new video on this channel today i will show you how to use the jvalidate plugin to allow access to your support forums or to your uh, wordpress blog only to users who have a valid inveto purchase code and they will be able to register using this purchase code on your blog so let's uh, get started the settings for the plugin uh, will be found in settings jvalidate here you will see the settings for the plugin after installation uh, to make the plugin work you have to enter an inveto access token to get it click here as the instructions say uh, click create token on the after you log into this page, click create a token, give it a name, and very important, check view your item sale history and verify purchases of your items. So search for this. View your item sales history, verify purchases of your items check these two or also check the I have read and understood the terms and conditions checkbox and click create token you should copy this token uh, please uh, copy it and paste it here and also note it somewhere if you wish because Inveto will not show it to you the second time so this will you have to store it safely on your own because uh, Inveto does not store this key for you. Okay, after you enter this, you can go ahead and save settings and the plugin will be up and running. Uh, other features of the plugin are the purchase code blacklisting. You can input here a uh, comma separated list of purchase codes that will be blacklisted so customers with this purchase code will not be allowed to access the uh, log the register form also you can whitelist purchase codes uh, so if you will allow only the purchase codes from the whitelist to be used and no other purchase codes allow purchase codes only from the above whitelist if you check this then only this uh, purchase codes will be allowed if you uncheck this like this then uh, you can add additional purchase codes that are not from Enveto using the whitelist so if you have this checkbox unchecked the plugin will recognize also uh, valid purchase codes from Enveto and also the purchase code you enter here in the white whitelist so here you can enter additional purchase codes that are not valid only for testing Inveto item ID blacklist <coughs> you can blacklist item IDs numeric item IDs from Inveto and also you can uh, whitelist numeric item IDs from Inveto the same is valid here if you blacklist item IDs then uh, the item IDs purchase codes for some item IDs will not work and only the item IDs listed here will work. So if you have uh, some uh, uh, items on Inveto, you should enter them here the their numeric ID, comma separated list of numeric IDs. Allow registration of customers with expired support. If you want to allow also expired to support to be allowed, to check this. <clears throat> allow registration of already purchased use purchase codes if you want to allow customers to uh, register with the same uh, purchase code twice check this you can also enable recapture you can get your recapture from here uh, site key secret key and save settings and let me demonstrate to you how the uh, thing look so let's log out if we go to register this is what we get so if we enter here 
something, check the capture, invalid code submitted. So if as the user enters here a valid purchase code, then the plugin will uh, allow registering. So let me log in again and let us create a whitelisted code from whitelist test purchase code. And what happens when we check this? This is something that you should know. So if we go again to the register page and enter this, you will see that the plugin work. So you can purchase, you can uh, whitelist testing purchase codes here and they will work. And the customer will be allowed to create a username and an email and register on your box. So this is a simple plugin. It is also easy to use. I hope you will enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to support the development of other plugins. Until next time, bye bye.